I know. I feel it too. That eerie sense of dread as the nights get darker, the weather gets colder. I've always found this to be one of the hardest times of the year, but the older I get, the more I find inspiration from the Danish principle of Hygge, the feeling of contentment and coziness that comes with comfort. Rather than fighting the season, embracing it, slowing down, retreating, and really allowing yourself to winter. That to me is the key to truly enjoying winter. Just as the animals do, just as the trees do, I think so much of this season is just allowing your body to take a pause, to hibernate, to rest in all of those comforts that can feel a little indulgent, but really do help us make the most of this time of year. This list is one that I really thought about and really wanted to share that. Personally, I find a lot of joy in these things, but especially this time of year, really letting it be a time of rest to recharge for the seasons to come. I love and embracing the seasonal cooking at this time, really focusing on those very nourishing, those warm meals, soups, stews. I could eat chicken noodle soup for every single meal, probably for the rest of my life. I really like to take advantage of that in this season when the weather kind of matches that more than trying to make a soup in the summertime. Finding a new cookbook that just makes you feel inspired to focus more on cooking. That's one of my favorite things to do, especially this time of the year. Don't be scared to still spend time outside. Now I know I'm in Texas. It might seem a little cheap talking about this because I know up north you're talking about 10 degrees, 20 degrees, it's snowing it might not be the most comforting thing going for a walk or spending time outside but one thing that I find so inspiring is my brother and his family they actually moved to Maine a couple years ago it's really cool seeing people who live in a colder climate still take advantage of things to do outside just bundling up and enjoying weather they will go on hikes in these beautiful snowy forests and I still think it's so good for us to spend time outside so even if it's not the most beautiful weather outside really taking advantage of it and you might be surprised that you might end up enjoying it more than you did before I'm such a fan of having just a cozy ambiance but especially this season with those darker evenings especially now around Christmas time it's nice to just kind of keep those lights up light some candles turn off the overhead lights if you know you know the overhead lights they gotta go at night they just have to and instead of being scared of those darker evenings just indulge set the atmosphere have a nice meal throw on a movie I really like incorporating warm lighting into our home trying to find those warmer toned light bulbs I think it makes such a difference in your home especially when it's just darker create a reading list I am such a fan of going to a bookstore finding a couple of new reads and often in the other seasons I find I spend money on books that I do not end up reading but there's something about these slower months when you are spending time inside I think it's a lot easier to just sit down and read make a little date out of it go pick up a couple books at a bookstore we have such a nice half price books by us and I'm already dreaming of creating a list and just going with myself or with Connor and picking out some books for the season and hold yourself accountable to get through them I think that this is the perfect season for that take better care of yourself a lot of times in the summer we're traveling you know there's the holiday season where you're just just go 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 all the time it can be easy to lose sight of yourself and really taking care of yourself in terms of what you're putting into your body one of the easiest ways that I do this throughout the entire year but especially in the winter time I find when it's really dry is just staying hydrated take electrolytes if that's something that you haven't incorporated into your routine your diet I have shared element so many times on my channel I'm so thankful to be partnering with them on today's video they are my favorite when it comes to electrolytes they're made with everything that you need nothing that you don't it's a common misconception that you only need electrolytes when you're incredibly active you're an athlete something like that but it is so important for everyone to replenish these electrolytes if you're a busy parent if you are working full-time no matter what lifestyle you are living it's so important to replenish those electrolytes these are also so so tasty I find I feel so much better when I take these every single day I have less headaches I have more energy you can try a bunch of the flavors by going to drinkelement.com slash Michelle Reed and that will get you a free sample pack with any purchase that's such a great way to try different flavors see which one you like but especially this time of year they have a chocolate medley it is so delicious they have a chocolate mint they have a raspberry chocolate and then they have a chocolate chai I believe I love enjoying these in the evening time it is so beyond cozy just cuddling up with a warm drink but you're also doing something that's great for yourself and that's tasty because I love hot cocoa but having that every single night is probably
probably not the absolute best for my body. They have such a great formula. It's the one that I really trust. And so yeah, I will link them down below. It's drinkelement.com slash Michelle Reed. That will get you a free sample pack with any purchase. Having things to look forward to. I always love kind of having something on the calendar, whether that be a trip, whether that be visiting a friend, a road trip. It doesn't have to be anything crazy. I do think it would be nice to save up for maybe one of those bigger goals that you have, those bigger trips. We always try to do something in March, in April, something around then. It always helps us get through January and February and I find it's a really nice time to travel if you're living in a place that maybe is still pretty chilly at that point. But again, it does not have to be anything crazy. I'm not saying you have to go on this wild spring break trip. You can keep it super low key. Incorporating color. I find wearing just colorful pieces during this time of year always helps boost my mood hot pinks, yellows, greens. I'm such a fan of color, but especially this time of year. I think it's a really fun time to just bring the sunshine where you can when you're living in a place that maybe looks rather dull during this time of the year. Declutter areas that you've been avoiding, especially now we're spending a lot more time inside in our home. I think it's a nice time to kind of kickstart some spring cleaning, go through some areas that maybe you haven't had time to declutter during the busy seasons of your life. I've been eyeing my baking cabinet for a while. I do think I'm gonna save this for that time of the year because she needs a refresh very desperately. It always makes me feel more motivated and productive just working on something in my home that I've been neglecting. And especially if you are baking a lot, you're cooking a lot, maybe focusing on your kitchen more. Weekly rituals. This is something that's been so important, especially now having our son. I know I always look forward to Wednesday nights. We would have some sort of Italian meal. We had church every Sunday. I think rituals are so beneficial, especially for children, but ourselves too. I'm not saying you even have to have a family, kids to do this. Whether that be Sundays you have pancakes or you watch a movie on Monday night, having these little things to look forward to, to yearn for every single week is so beneficial, but especially during a time of the year that can just seem kind of drab. Creating those things to expect and look forward to is so helpful. Start a new hobby. If you've been wanting to start making sourdough, perfect time to make sourdough. Crochet, that's something I've really wanted to do. That's something I've talked about with a couple of our friends creating like a little crochet club to learn. Make it some sort of cozy experience and really focus on learning something new, working with your hands. I'm always looking for things to get off of this and just be more present and learn. And I already have a list of some things that I wanna learn, so I'm gonna hold myself to it. Get a library card. If that's something that you've always wanted to do, I find libraries have so many free events, especially this time of the year. If you're looking to do things that are more indoors, especially with our son now, we love doing the library story time. It's so much fun to see other kids. I know that'll be an even bigger part of our routine as we're trying to find, you know, some things to do indoors when it's a chillier day. There are just so many free resources at the library and that's something that I'm trying to be mindful of taking advantage of, especially if you're trying to stop spending as much money. Find your favorite hot chocolate recipe, figure it out. I am a huge fan of Mexican hot chocolate I love, but also bone broth hot chocolate. And so even starting now, I've been trying to test some different recipes. It's really fun when you have people over to already have a recipe in your mind that you know is really great, you know you enjoy, and can be one of those crowd pleaser things when you're having guests over when you're hosting. And it's just an excuse to drink more hot chocolate, which we love. Start a new TV series. There is nothing better than knowing you have a new show to watch in the evening. That's something we're trying to think of right now. If you have any recommendations for a cozy show to watch in the winter time, something that you can just get lost in, it's so fun. And better yet, try to make it a show where you're not also scrolling at the same time. That's another thing that I've been trying to be just more mindful about, especially during this season. I don't know what it is. Just going about your day, getting through work, knowing that you're going to be able to sit down, cuddle up, and watch a new show just the best. Challenge yourself to a no spend month. This is something that I'm pretty sure I'm going to implement in January. I've done no spend weeks and I don't know, just in general, try to be more conscious with money, but I've never done just an entire no spend month. And I think especially after the Christmas time when you're spending on gifts or yourself. I really want to experience that of just having a month where I'm not spending money on excess and only the necessities. I think it forces you to really go out of your way to figure out things that don't cost money. And you can save that money to maybe put towards one of those trips that you're looking forward to. Yeah, I'm really considering doing this in January. I will 100% take you guys along and share that whole 
kind of experience for the month but i think that it could be something that's so great to do for just your own discipline with your finances and just be more responsible start a book club or any club for that matter i have been a part of some book clubs i have rarely made it through maybe a whole year i feel like people just naturally get busy and we don't end up reading the book. I especially know with children now, it's just much harder to make it through, but I would love to be more disciplined about doing one and maybe hosting one too. I think it would be such a great way to spend time with people so much during this time. I think we can feel isolated and alone, but bringing people into your home, it always feels so good, even if the work at the beginning seems to be a bit much. And it also holds you accountable to actually read those books that you've been having on your list. Having a weekly digital Sabbath. I've been doing this for the past year or so, not religiously. I don't always keep myself to it, especially doing this on a Sunday. I think it could be so good for resetting for the week ahead, setting your mind on things that really matter, just being present. I would love to do a digital Sabbath for an entire week, an entire month. That sounds really great, but starting small with just a day forces you to get outside more, forces you to work with your hands more. And I know when I'm having just a lot going on up here, it's likely because I'm scrolling to too much on my phone basically every single time curate your ideal bedding situation i like to take advantage of this time of just really focusing on rest and nothing is cozier than having just your ideal bedding situation over the years of being married we've kind of figured out what we've liked and especially here in texas it doesn't get too too cold and so we like just having a single quilt no top sheet with some linen sheets it is so comfortable maybe you like flannel sheets maybe you like sheets that feel a little bit cooler figure out what you like and just indulge make it cozy i can't express how much i love getting into my bed in the evening i'm now at the age where i only want to sleep in our bed because it is just the absolute comfiest start scrapbooking i cannot express how much I have loved scrapbooking ever since having my son. I have his baby book and it's something that I look forward to doing every single month, updating with photos. But I will say it's a task. It's something that you have to have time for. So if you do have more downtime during this season, this season of life, I think for a while I would put off scrapbooking because I always thought it had to be super cute and perfect, but I find I'm more likely to keep up with it when I just print out photos that I really, really enjoy that bring me happiness and I just paste them. Maybe add a couple of things here and there, but not putting the pressure on to be super cute, curated, all that. Just in general, I'm trying to work on not making things overwhelming when they do not need to be <laughs> overwhelming. Thrifting for cozy jackets. I find with thrifting, it is so much fun to find just cute, comfortable jackets. They're likely less worn than maybe traditional pieces like sweaters or t-shirts. I'm a huge jacket fan. I could have an entire closet full of jackets and so if you're needing to freshen up, maybe get a colorful jacket, add some pieces to your wardrobe. I think thrifting is especially fun to just take an afternoon to go find something, make it a little bit of a treasure hunt. Start a new workout class. I was a little hesitant to add this because I think this time of the year can come with a lot of pressure to get back at it new year's resolutions you gotta get back to the workout routine the fitness routine and a lot of that pressure i think can be kind of daunting but for me i am kind of liking the idea of starting a workout class even if it's just once a week to see other people work body parts that you don't normally work try something new i think it can help just keep it fresh keep it exciting there are so many different workout classes out there back when i was in new york city i would use class pass and that was a great way to just try a bunch of different things rather than maybe just subscribing to one thing at a time it was so much fun a great way to meet people too if you're feeling lonely i find going to the same class over and over again you're likely to get that sense of community i know that was for us we we were part of a class a couple years ago and it was nice like knowing the trainer and having the same people in the class it feels really great just being known even if it's in the sense of your workout routine and lastly is just going for bundled walks it is so much fun now having connor i'll just put him in his carrier we'll both put on our jackets and there's something so cozy about just being in the brisk air it always reminds me of when he was a newborn last year at this time the amount of times we would go out and walk it's so great during cold and flu season two to get that fresh air and switch it up go to a new park find somewhere kind of new and exciting i am such a fan of walking especially getting married to Aiden. He has always been a huge fan of going on walks. He could walk for two hours a day. It's so much fun. Or go with your friends too. I love having hangouts where we just 
walk a trail, grab a coffee, make an experience. Never underestimate the power of a good walk. And that's everything. That is my list. I hope this video helped you feel just inspired and not so terrified for the months ahead. I know it can be really hard just with those darker nights and colder weather. I know it's a time that a lot of us struggle. And so for me, I'm always looking for ways to get myself out of that headspace and really just enjoy wherever I'm at. I'm so thankful for you. I'm so thankful to have this ability to create these videos. If you wanted to start a YouTube channel, I think this is also a great time to start because it has just brought me so much joy sharing my life, sharing my experiences on here and getting that connection, I think is especially valuable during this time. I'm so grateful for you guys. I hope you're doing well and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye.